Okay. So, welcome back to another episode of trying to figure out how to do something online or teach online. So, uh, the next one we're going to talk about is um, Google Meets. Google Meets is a specific thing that is a video conference. It's not the same as Google Hangouts. They're both the same program. Uh, Google Hangouts is a um, basically a um, group chat, whereas Google Meets is a video conferencing. So we're going to test this out by going on it. So if you don't remember, if you didn't see what I did, we hit the nine bars like we always do. This is where all your apps are. And then we go straight down to meet. It could be anywhere down here. You just have to look for it. But mine's is right on top. So now we're in Google Meet. So you should see this right here. So seeing this helps um, where you can see um, the stuff right here. We have a picture, beautiful picture, join and start meets. Uh, we have some information about microphones and speakers if you're having trouble with that. So we're going to join a meet. You have to be specific here because we found out that if you type in the same name for two different classes, they join the entire class together. And we don't want that. Me and Courtney Johnson and Susie Murdoch um, both all wrote down tests just like that with the capital letter. And somehow Google was very intuitive and decided and was like, you guys all have, should be on the same room if you have the same title. So you want to be as specific as possible. We also learned that you can't use dots periods or slashes you should not because it even tells you slashes are in dots actually creates an error so we don't want to do that so young period one uh i would recommend no spaces so that way you don't get a misspelling or when you lose the uh when you lose the meat or or the video chat and everything like that so you want to make sure that kids can recognize it fairly e um, evenly so now we join the group so once we join the group, we're in here just like this. Um, you can see my face, which is quite, quite bright. Um, if you don't want to use that, you can always disable it by you, by hitting this, and then you can go join now. So we're going to join now. As you can see, it pops up and it generates a Google Meet for you. So there are several things you can do with this. So you join a group or join an informational group join the join copy the information you'll copy the information we're gonna go back to classroom once we go back to classroom I'm gonna go back to um, the classroom that I created which is the CHS one and I'm going to post it so I'm gonna copy and then I'm gonna paste it and it says join group. So I'm gonna post this onto the group chat just like this. As you can see, the link is joinable. So what's gonna happen now is I'm going to email myself this as a different, different student. I'm gonna post this, I'm gonna give that a whirl, and then someone's gonna someone's gonna join my conversation. So as you can see, you can also independently invite people through email. You can invite different people into your Hangout and stuff like that. So that makes it easy for you to use. Um, there is another way to do it. You can do a Google Hangout based off of your calendar, which I will try and do some other time. But this is the easier way to do it. If you lose the information here and you don't know where to do it, it is at the bottom left-hand corner where the arrow is. It pops up and it generally tells you here copy the joint information you can also attach things on Google Hangout or Google Meet sorry on Google Meet by inserting here and anyone who's in 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 the in the chat will be able to access the documents so let's go ahead and try and see what will happen if I sent this to myself no subject that's the one we're gonna plug this in let's see what happens Okay, there'll probably be some feedback, so I'm probably gonna not. I'm gonna disable my mic and disable this, and I'm gonna. Do As you can see, there was a lot of feedback because it is two conversations all together. We don't want that. So, if you had your volume up, I recommend not. <laughs> so, I disabled it. So now there are two people participating. Two people, same same person, same name, but you know who's up here and everything like that. So 
you want to make sure that that's all good. Um, if you want to turn on captions as well, captions is a good way to transcribe all your information. Yeah, so I'll up unplug the microphone and it should recognize my voice and it should, there you go, upon it and you can transcribe everything that you wrote down. So that is one way um, to show your screen. So let's say you have some kind of artwork or poster, propaganda posters for history. If you have a worksheet that you want to work with, um, there is a way to present your screen. You can present your entire screen or you can present a single window. So I usually, um, I usually just do my entire screen so that way it's easier. And we look into that and see what happens. As you can see, we are presenting a window. As you can see, it's just making a loop. So we are presenting a window here. So we can stop presenting and so forth. Your students can present as well as you can. So that's something that you should be aware of, that you can present as well as, your, as, well as someone else can, which is a great way to um, do presentations over the internet. And so forth, so that way no one can't, no one has, no one has to be um, in the same classroom. So that's one way to do Google um, Google Meets. It's a great way to um, help with studies um, if, in case, we have to teach online. Um, this is one aspect, as you can see. You all you have to do is copy the join list, and when you copy the join list, you can post it here, or you can put it as a classwork. You can put it as a classwork so that way they don't lose it because this might disappear. So there is a way to do all that stuff or you can do a new one. Once you end the service, once you end it, you will probably have to create a new one. But if not, you can definitely use this Google Meets again so that way you can get back on the same one. So you don't actually necessarily have to make a new um, Google meets every time if you have the link the link will automatically send you to the same session you had because all it is is just a meeting space so it's already created a meeting space you might as well just keep using it it has the ip address so every ip address is different and so forth so that's basically google meets in a nutshell if you need more information or you need more questions go ahead don't hesitate to ask me or um, a couple of other mentors that are out there um, that are on campus. So other than that, we'll see you next time, Calabasas.